take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Turn the fan on so that the air blows over the top of the bowl of dry ice. The dry ice will transition or sublimate into very cold carbon dioxide gas. The gas will absorb the heat from the warm air pushed out of the fan. The cool air will then circulate around the room. Take our lead. If you mean can you cool the air in a room by letting dry ice evaporate, the answer is yes. The evaporation process itself takes in heat and the CO2 that comes off is still much colder than room temperature. You could, however, use the dry ice to cool some coils which then cool the air in the room. Make your mark, take our lead. It is recommended to keep the dry ice at the bottom of your cooler. You can fill this empty space with dry ice pellets, or regular ice. If you choose to go with regular ice, the low temperature of dry ice will help slow down the melting process. Keep in mind the amount of times you open your cooler matters. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.